Hey guys, Steph, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Can you guess what we're doing today? Hmm, I mean, to be fair, it isn't the title of the video, but today we have another super epic PR unboxing haul. I've been keeping all the PR boxes that I've been sent recently so I can unbox them with you guys and we can just swatch things, try a few bits and just have a look at what's new. Makeup, skincare, hair care, like all of the above. So you guys know the drill with these videos. They're normally pretty long, so grab yourself a beverage, put me on as like background noise or whatever you wanna do if you're cleaning or you know, feel free to actually sit and watch the whole thing. Um, but yeah, it's probably gonna be a long one because I have got a lot. It's not just what you see behind me. There's like a whole other situation going on down here. So uh, let's get into it. By the way, I just got new ear piercings. My ear is officially a sieve. I got my conch done here with this really, really cute piece. It's actually gold. I'm like mixing metals here. I got my date change to a slightly smaller gold hoop. I got my fourth done on this side. And then on this side, I got my, is it tragus? This thing, whatever this is. It's a little bit scabby, but it's just been done. So that's why I'm covering it up. I really don't know where to start with all of this. There's so much to go through, so I'm just gonna grab things and open them with you. All right, guys, I'm here to interrupt my own video because we have a sponsorship for today's video and it is unexpected, but so mega. Are you ready? This video is sponsored by none other than June's Journey. And if you guys don't know, I've been playing this game for years. It's not very often that I do any kind of sponsorships with like games or anything like that, but, I am so obsessed with June's journey and I think you guys will be too. It is completely free to download. There's loads of aspects to the game, but essentially it's a hidden object mystery game. There's this huge storyline that goes with it. It's centered around the 1920s and there's really cool graphics that go along with it. There's loads of levels. You can get different stars for different levels. You can even build your own estate, which is fun. So you collect different objects throughout the actual game. You can buy them, everything like that. And you can build your own estate. I know a lot of you guys like murder mysteries, just like I do as well. And that's basically the basis of the whole storyline for June's journey. So whilst you're actually playing the game itself, you're also getting a story to go along with it. And when I tell you the story takes a whole load of turns, like sometimes I'm playing it and I'm like, they did not do that. That did not just happen. I've actually got a few of you guys that I currently play with. We send each other bushes every once in a while. We've got our own little team going on. They're always changing up the themes as well. Like right now they currently have a Halloween theme. So if you haven't already played the game, like I said, it is completely free to download and honestly your life will be consumed by it and I'm not even sorry. So guys, click the link down below and give June's Journey a go. And like I said, let me know like your usernames or like leave them down below in the comments and we can play together because genuinely I am on that game every single day, multiple times a day. I'm there in the bath, on the loo. I'll sit there drinking my coffee thinking I should probably go do some work in a minute, but there I am playing June's Journey. I can't believe June's Journey are working with me. I've made it, mom, I've made it. All right, let's get into the video. So this, I can kind of see what's inside already. It's from Huda Beauty. I'm ready to just like have a whole pile of rubbish next to me in a minute. So this is the new Empowered eyeshadow palette, which you guys can see here. Love me a new Huda Beauty launch gonna fling things off to the side and then worry about it later. So I sent over one of them mascaras. We also have a Lifeline, a quick and easy liquid liner. And then this here is another one. Precision liquid liner. Hang on, what's the difference? Oh, one's black and one's brown. I love a brown liner these days. We then also have the eye lift and contour, which is like um, the under eye patches. I guess these are just sort of like special edition for this collection. And then we have the actual palette itself. So. I'm not gonna be able to do too many swatches or anything. I'm sure I'll review it in a video soon. Let me know, by the way, if you guys see anything in this video, feel free to make a little list in the comments of things you want me to review. But this is what the palette looks like. Cool tones, shimmers, some nice little like weird marbly textures. Oh, hell, sorry, what are you? Can you guys see that like with my little finger, my weird shaky little finger that I'm trying to point. Uh, that's like a 3D eyeshadow. It's got like a little, what the hell? I'm gonna need to look into that a bit more because, oh, I think it's a gel liner hybrid. Wet look shimmer, I don't know, but very excited to try that. Maybe it says on here. Yeah, it might be a wet metallic. Ooh. I'm gonna try and make a rubbish pile and make a product pile and try and be organized about this. Next is a box from Bondi Sands. 
What do we have here? Try and open as many things like with you guys so you can actually see it. So we have the double-sided applicator mitt. Oh, and then I think it's just like a little standard top up. We've got the self tanning foam in dark. My holiday tan is fading a little bit and it's making me sad. So I might have to pick up the bottle again. And then we have liquid gold, which is really, really good. Thank you. That went everywhere. Next is this very mysterious box from Garnier. So it says nothing on the box. It just says skin active. Ooh. Oh, this is cool packaging. Okay, let's open it up together. Mm, mm, mm. So this is the blemish reducing BHA, which is salicylic acids. So it's an exfoliating charcoal serum. As you guys might be able to see there, it's like totally black, which my aesthetic appreciates. That looks interesting. I might give that a go later. Huh. I need like a basketball hoop or something so I can just like throw things through. Next is one of my most favorite boxes to receive from Cult Beauty. They send over boxes every so often and they're just filled with like, sometimes they're filled with like full brands. Sometimes they're filled with just like top trending products or whatever. Okay, let's open this together, ready? Oh. Laura Mercier, oh my God. Okay, so we have the Ambre Vanille Body Cream. This stuff smells insane. What is this? Phone charm, that's very, very cool. I like the colors. We then have the tinted moisturizer blush, which, oh my God, I love these. Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick. What color is that? I'm gonna have a look at that in a sec. We then have one of the hydrating pure canvas primers, which are great. Keep your eyes peeled, guys, because there might be some sort of giveaway coming soon because I've already spotted a bunch of doubles that I have. We then have one of the caviar stick eye colors in the shade Forbidden Rose. And then this big guy here. <laughs> fine. Oh, I actually already have one of these on my desk. Actually, I've got a new dressing table. I've never had a dressing table in my life, like other than this like filming setup, but I don't really come in here to just get ready. It's just for filming, but I got a new dressing table and I have one of the um, anniversary editions of the Laura Mercier powders on there. It is stunning. And this one's slightly different. I won't open it because again, it'll probably appear in a giveaway soon, but you guys can see the packaging there. Unless I can, I feel like it's, okay, here I am opening it anyway, but I'm just gonna do it very, very gently. I feel like it's really big. Ah, oh, yes. Look at the size of that. Like, it's the size of my head. Oh, that looks weird. Looks like what weird, like bug eyes. Okay, very, very cool. Thank you very much. Yeah, you get 49 grams of that in here. Happy anniversary, Laura Mercier. Love ya. Next, I have a couple of boxes from Technic and Body Collection. So this is what the Technic box looks like. Got some. Tissue paper, thank you. A lot of my thank you, bye. What's this? These are, it's like a set of lip balms and like glosses. Very cute, nice little stocking filler. Oh, we've got like a bunch of sets here. Huh. So we've then got 10 different lip colors. I'm not sure if they're glosses or like liquid lipsticks or anything, but they look very nice. And then what's in here? Looking like eyeshadow palette. Eyeshadow palette. What does this look like? Does this not kind of look a little bit like the Huda Beauty palette. Hmm. Maybe like two Huda Beauty palettes like mashed together, but either way, that looks very nice. And I really, really like Technic eyeshadows and they're super cheap. We then have a little brush collection from them as well. So you get eight brushes in there, four face brushes, four eye brushes. Again, that's really, really cute for Christmas. Next is another box from Laura Mercier. Ooh. These are the Petal Soft Lipstick Crayons. And you can see that's the picture there. That model looks stunning. And they've sent over six different shades. Let's have a swatch of this one. Okay, this is in the shade Elodie. I don't know if it'll show up that much on my lips right now. Let's have a little look. That's like pretty bang on to the color I've got on right now, which is like a mix of like three different lip liners. I'm gonna keep that at hand because normally when I do these videos, I talk so much, my mouth gets really dry. So I'm gonna rehydrate with that. That feels really good, looks really pretty. Cool. Oh, my hair is so frizzy today, I, I give up. I so nearly bought this. Oh my God, yes. Wait, yes. I was like, huh? So this says about face, truth or glare. Huge thing going on, oh my God. It's like, it's almost like a little poster. Do you guys remember when you used to get them in like magazines? You could fold them out and it would be like a cool poster on the side. We have the vinyl effect eye gloss. Didn't even know they did that. And the mascara, which is the thing that I was gonna pick up. Let's have a look at the wand. Ooh, it's a nice plastic conical wand, which I normally love. So 
that will be going in a first impressions very, very soon. And I cannot wait to do some sort of like creative look with this. So I've then got this box from The Body Collection. I actually love their stuff. They're vegan, cruelty-free, says be the very best version of you, no one else. Oh my God, this box is full, the hell? Okay, we'll whistle this quite quickly. We've got a mascara, which I haven't tried. We have under eye concealer, yum. This is the Fresh Facial Mist. I'm gonna need to do another first impressions, I think. We've got some of the liquid blushes. I tried, I think it was maybe this one, and they were quite sheer. So maybe I just need like a more intense color. We have clarifying toner. So there's a bit of skincare in here as well. Glow serum, balancing facial oil. We then have the perfecting primer. There is loads in here. A uh, couple of brow products. We've got another mascara. I actually bought this the other day in Wilco, the tinted moisturizer. So I've got another one. I think I've got the slightly deeper shade, so I'll see which one works better for me. We then have one of the liquid liners and then there's something wrapped up in here. Oh, I am whizzing through this. Okay, there's a lot wrapped up in here. So I've got three of the luminous face powders in different shades. That's part of the glow collection. And then if you guys didn't see my best products for under five pounds videos, body collection eyeshadows are insane. The Medusa palette, it's like £2.50 and it's incredible. And we now have the Amore palette and the Celestial, yeah. So they've got face powders and then also eyeshadow colors in there. They look nice. This little situation here, to be honest, both of them, that for just like a day-to-day -day neutrals palette, I'm trying not to like blind you here, that, you have everything you need. Oh, body collection video uh, coming soon. Next is a box from The Glow Recipe. I love their stuff. It says fruit forward, clinically effective glowing skin. I'm trying to open it. Ugh. Talk amongst yourselves. This is cute. Open that up. Open that up. Cute. Okay, so this is Bright Eyes for All. We have the Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum and then the Guava Vitamin C Bright Eye Gel Cream. <sighs> I had a bath last night and I was not happy because something on a show made me laugh and I was plucking my eyebrows in the bath, as you do, and I laughed and I'm getting crow's feet wrinkles. So I'm like, I'm going to drink eye cream and do just do anything that I can probably more Botox, but thank you. Probably gonna need that or I'll just like never smile again. Next is this box here from Physicians Formula. It feels quite heavy actually. Oh, they have stacked this box up. Okay, so we have got, oh, that's useful. Four in one makeup brush. Look at that. It's got literally everything you need to do your makeup. You can just like set your face, do some bronzer, even do like some highlighter with that, eyeshadow, you've then got like a liner brush. That is very, very useful. I'm probably gonna keep that in my handbag actually. We then have one of the butter bronzes and then one of the butter, believe it, blushes, which I actually both have. So potential giveaway coming soon. Ooh, we then got even more. I also have these. Thank you so much, Physicians Formula. Uh, I'm sure some of these will be going to you guys very, very soon. And then we have the Butter Believe It eyeshadow palette, which looks like this. And the Lash Mixologist 3-in-1 mascara, which I believe I've tried. I know I have this. I think I've tried it. Sometimes I forget. <gasps> okay, so this actually just arrived and I opened the box because I thought it was something else. But I I say might be doing a video with, how do you say it? Floracis? Floralis? Floracis. Floracis. It's a brand that you guys have wanted me to try it for ages and they actually got in touch with me and my manager and asked if I wanted to work with them. So I'm gonna be trying out some of their products. And if you see a video sponsored by them, just know that I love it. As you guys know, I don't do sponsored videos with a brand unless I actually like the products. Like sometimes, people always ask me about this. Like if I'm doing a first impressions and I don't like it and it's like sponsored, what happens? If I don't like it, I'll then say to them like, thank you so much, but I'm not gonna go ahead with it. So like you guys probably won't ever see that video or anything. So if you do see it, then I was happy enough to work with them. But, um, oh my God, they've sent me a ton. Got a lip glaze, we have a eyeliner, glowing lip gloss. Apparently these are like beautiful as well. Flower nourishing cleansing oil. I love a cleansing oil. Uh, what is this? Floral dewy linked lipstick. That sounds interesting. And then there's this huge box here. This is actually like so heavy. I feel like I'm holding, this will probably be heavier than a newborn baby, but I feel like I'm holding a child. Anyway, da 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 da. Hang on. Wait, look at that. 
What? That is so extra. I love it. Oh my God, there's so much in here. Okay, let's just quickly whiz through some of the things we've got and then I'll open up one product just to see what it looks like. We have a blusher, another blusher. Oh my God, they have spoiled me rotten. This is a lip mask. I love a lip mask, like right before I go to bed. I love it. A velvety color holding lip glaze, lip gloss. This is the peach blossom powder. This is flowery makeup relief palette. So, okay, this is a palette. I might open that one in a sec. Another palette. I might open this one. Another palette. Oh my God. And then this is, I don't know. Is it like a little puff? It feels very, very light. I must find out. Ah, <gasps> what? Is someone asking me to go to prom or something? What is this? No, this must like stick to something. Maybe like a lip gloss? I'm not sure, but I'm very intrigued. I'm gonna have to like Google it or something. I'm gonna put you back in there before I lose you, but okay, we need to open up one of these palettes. So many of you have asked me to review this brand and you tagged me in pictures of it on social media because apparently the packaging is insane. I don't wanna ruin it. I mean, even this in itself is just like a little work of art. Stunning. And then, yes, this is what I've seen online. Look at that. That is, I'm not gonna wanna even touch it. Wait, that's actually so intricate, that's ridiculous. I wanna make sure I get it like right up close for you guys, look. Can you see the detail there? That is literally insane. I'm just looking at it like, I don't wanna put that in my face because I feel like it will ruin it. Um, but I will be trying that out for a video very, very soon. Uh, so stay tuned for that. They literally sent me so much, what the hell? There's still so much to go through. Like freaking Christmas. Oh, okay, next we have something from Be Perfect. This is the One Do Three Longevity Facial Mist. So it's a multi-use setting spray with gripping properties that ensure perfectly prepped skin and makeup longevity. I love so many things from Be Perfect, so buzz and to try that. We then have this very cute little bag from Glowish. And uh, inside here, what have we got? Multi-juice skin tin, I really, really like this. So they sent me a few shades of that. Thank you very much. What else? The Luminous Pressed Powder, oh my sweet Lord, get that on my face ASAP because I, I loved this. I love glowish powders. Oh, there's more. That's a really cute bag actually as well. I will hold on to that. We've got the Blur Jam. I just like the name of it. It's a silicon free smoothing primer. I like that it's called jam. Comes with a little spoon. Oh, it's actually like, is it like tinted as well? What? It literally is like a jam. Oh, it's like a gel. Very, very intrigued by that. And then we also have some of the cheeky vegan, cheeky vegan blush powders. Oh, next is more from Laura Mercier. Are you guys okay? They have like, oh my God. <gasps> Wait, no, I've seen this. Oh my God. The new translucent pure setting spray. You guys know the Laura Mercier powder is my ride or die. Uh, yeah, I need to try out the setting spray. And then we have the translucent loose setting powder, ultra blur. When do I ever get excited about any kind of powder? I am so excited to try this. And uh, this sent over the honey one as well, which I love because it's got like a good undertone for me when I've got like a little bit of tan on my face. So, so it's been relaunched with a brand new skincare infused ultra blur formula. Has hyaluronic acid, great for dehydrated or dry skin. And then the setting spray says that if you use it after the ultra blur powder, it will give you the ultimate lasting power. I have never been so excited for a freaking setting spray and a powder in my life. Next, we have a box full of bits from the brand Skin Prouds. I sort of shoved them all together. So Skin Proud is available at ASOS. I've tried a fair few of their products. Let me try and like dig in here without getting this stuff everywhere. This is the Clarifying Pink Clay to Cream Cleanser. I think that's new. I haven't tried this. Then we have the Sleep Hero Overnight Mask, which I have tried and this is really, really good. I love an overnight mask. We then have the Soul Based Skin Everyday Jelly Moisturizer. Again, tried this. It's really, really nice and light, but quite hydrating. All right, that box, done. I'm not gonna be able to get out of my office in a minute. This is the Bright Boost Vitamin C Serum, which I don't think I've tried this either. And then we have a few other bits. There's a little card here, what does it say? It says there are new skin essentials. Okay, so we've got the Daily Savior Skin Restoring Cream. 
I'm probably gonna need that because my skin in the winter just gets so dry and just like, my skin's like slightly combination, like at the worst of times, but when it's the winter, it just goes haywire. We then have the face melt, gentle hydrating cleansing balm. I love a cleansing balm. Cleansing oils, cleansing balms, if you're not using them. Once you use a cleansing balm, you will be like, why have I used any other type of cleanser to remove my makeup? They're honestly the best. We then have the Prowl Pods. These are 100% Squalane skin capsules. Oh, I love a little capsule. It's like satisfying, it just gets like, pssst. And then we have the Daily Savior Skin Recovery Booster Serum. Very, very nice. I feel like I have like a full Skin Prowl collection here, but thank you very much. Woo. Next is this box here from L'Oreal. They've made it, they've made it pretty subtle here. Let's open this up. I'll just open it up so I don't like show you guys my address. <laughs> now I love you. I'd love to hang out with you all, but um, then I have to make like loads of cups of tea and like feed you and stuff. Okay, so this is the newly reformulated True Match foundation. I really like the True Match. So now they have up to six pigments in the foundation to get everyone their most perfect match. And what they've done, they've sent over a palette and then six shades, and it says they've used different combinations of six pigments to formulate the perfect shade match for you. Could I make my own shades? It says they're challenging me to mix the six colors together and make my own perfect shades. I might have to do that. It's weird when you look at it, isn't it? Like you sort of kind of know that all these colors are mixed together to make another shade, but then when you look at it and you think like that's bright red, that's bright blue and, and green, I'm, I'm very intrigued by this. I will be giving that a go. And the cool thing is, it says they've got nine new shades. So they now have 48 shades, which is mega. Very cool, L'Oreal. Okay, we're getting there. So next, I was skeptical about showing this because this is sold out and I like partially opened it before, but Cosmetics sent me the new Molly May edit. And first of all, normally they come in like these really cute little bags. Now we have a full on vanity bag. Like I love this. I'm probably gonna put this, okay. Probably gonna put this on my new dressing table. Very excited about my dressing table. If you guys haven't seen what's inside this edit, it's madness. I think it normally costs like 115 pounds, but you get like 500 pounds worth of product. I would love to do an edit with Cosmetics one day because honestly, and by the way, Cosmetics, if you're watching, hi, hit me up. But even though the box is like 115 pounds, you literally get so many products. So I would love to be able to do one one day that has like all of my favorites in it. And you guys can then just get like a bunch of favorites and save yourself a whole load of money. But anyway, we've got the Illuminating Moisture Balm from Bobbi Brown. We then have oh, this candle here from Neon. I have this like home spray in my bedroom. And it's honestly, it says sense to make you happy. And it genuinely, if I'm having like a bit of an off day, don't get me wrong, it doesn't go and cure like depression, PTSD, anything like that. But when I spray that spray, it honestly makes me feel like even just like a little bit happier. And now I have the candle version. And it's honestly amazing. I've loved neon candles since maybe like 10 years or so. We then have the Eve Lom Rescue Mask, which I've never tried. And all these products in themselves so far, I think they're worth like 115 pounds anyway. We then have the E Spa Bath and Shower Gel. And again, this smells insane. We have the By Terry Brightening CC Palette. By Terry is very bougie. And this has like highlighting powders in it. Look at this. Look how stunning that is. Oh my God, it smells good. It smells like roses. Mmm. There's literally so much in here. We have a waterproof liquid eyeliner from Stila, a MAC lip pencil in the shade Whirl, which is a classic, a MAC lipstick in the shade Honey Love, which is one of my favorite MAC lipsticks. We then have a bunch of brushes from My Kit Co. There seems to be like six brushes in here maybe. And then this very, very cute little toweling scrunchie from Filter by Molly May. I've actually not tried Filter yet. Do I need to try it? I feel like I've tried most tanning brands, but everyone says it's like the best one. But yeah, there's so many products in that bag and obviously you get the bag itself if you guys can somehow get your hands on it i recommend you do it but if not like i said cosmetics do like offers like this all the time this one was a little bit more extra um with like the bag and everything but the boxes or the bags are always like 115 pounds and you just get a shit ton of product next is a package that i am so excited about i have no idea what's inside all i know is it's tatcha and I freaking love Tatcha. And I need some scissors. I should really get like a little like letter opener, like parcel thing. What's in? Let me in. We're delighted to share the new launches. 
from Tatcha, Violet Sea Brightening Serum, and the Viral Sensation, the Violet Sea Radiance Mask. Oh, oh, oh my God. I am so using this mask later. I love Tatcha. So I don't think you can get these at Cult Beauty. I think you can get products from Tatcha at Cult Beauty, but these I think are just available um, from Tatcha.co.uk and they're available now. Thank you, it makes me feel so fancy. Next is this box here from Fenty Beauty. So we have the Hydra Visor and then we also have two foundations and then a little brush as well. And the cool thing about this, let me just read it. It says that Fenty want you to be the face of Fenty Beauty. Entries are open until Halloween, so I think you guys have still got time. I might apply for that because why the hell not? And you guys should too. Imagine if like some of us are like the faces of Fenty, we can just be like, hello Rihanna, besties. Next, let's go in with this bag here, Paco Rabanne. I've already had a little peek, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I don't think I've ever been sent PR by Paco Rabanne. I'm so excited. So this is the new Fame perfume and the bottle looks like that guy here. Let's open it up. I've seen about this, but I haven't smelt it. Okay, the bottle is interesting. That is an intense bottle. Kind of like it. Like I normally like more classic looking shapes, but I don't know, I kind of feel like he's my mate. Okay, let's try this. Is there like a little card with any of the notes? It says it's quintessentially avant-garde luxury. Ooh, oh, it's quite like vanilla. I can smell the mango. It's now getting a bit woody. That's really nice. It's more sweet than I would normally wear. That's actually really nice. It's more sweet than the usual perfumes I like gravitate towards, but that's actually so nice. I have like desert island perfumes. Like if I could only pick a few, I do have my favorites, but I love to wear different kinds of perfume all the time. You guys know I have so many and I still need to do my perfume collection video, um, but I have so many. I literally switch it up all the time. Uh, this is really, really nice. I don't think I would have actually picked this up just from like looking at it on the shelf, but it smells really good. Now let's go in with some Charlotte Tilbury. I know what this is and I'm very excited. It's the new Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish Powder. What is it with me getting excited about powders right now? So this is the pore blurring powder, which everyone loves, including me. So we have the original pressed powder here, which I love. I feel like everyone loves it. And now we have the Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish Powder. So open this up. Again, cannot wait to try this. Okay, so it just looks like this. Looks kind of like a translucent sort of shades, but it does say on the bottom that's fair to medium. So I'm guessing they maybe do a couple different colors. Just doing a very, very light swatch. Yeah, it seems pretty translucent, but it definitely is brightening. Like you guys can see that little bit there. Ooh, that under my eyes, I'm very excited to try. Next is a little something from Garnier. It says uh, the sheet masks are biodegradable. So I'm guessing it's some sheet masks. You know, I love me a sheet mask. Packaging's very cute. I like that it's like, Simple packaging, so I can literally just go, okay, off into the recycling you go. Oh, okay, so we have, these are 2 million probiotic fractioned repairing sheet masks. They've sent me three of those, and then we have three eye sheet masks. Maybe that'll help with like my slight wrinkles here. <sighs> Thought I was gonna get to 30 without a single wrinkle. Don't wanna talk about it. But yeah, these are new masks from Garnier, and I love their sheet masks. The sheet mask says it's good for glowing, healthy skin, which is great. And then the under eye ones say they're good for healthy looking under eyes, which I need that. I just need that. Next is this very exciting package from Beauty Bay. So this is a new like Christmas collection, I think. Goodbye. Uh, and I'm saying I think because they sent a little Beauty Bay bauble. That'll go on the ugly Christmas decoration tree this year. We've got the 12 piece eye brush collection. So this is a new collection, Dark Fantasy. Goodbye, goodbye. We have an eye base. I don't think I've actually tried the Beauty Bay eye base before. Have I? Oh my God, there's tinsel in here. We have the Liquid Crystal Eyeshadow Trio. Oh, look at these lashes, these faux eyelashes. Don't know if there's like a style or anything, but these are a bit of me. Like flared on the end corner. We have the tinsel, a freaking green candy cane. Yum. Let's have a look at this palette. So this is the Dark Fantasy 20 color palette. I'm really into this packaging. I'm really into this palette. It gives me like Jeffree Star alien kind of vibes. They've got some good tones in there. That purple is stunning. And all the greens, and then this shade here, Virtual. This is just a bit of me to be honest, let's face it. Oh, 
Thank you. Next is a package from Cash Beauty. I'll try not to slice myself open here. Okay, get in. I'm getting into this the completely wrong way, but I'm getting into it and that's what matters. Or oh, we got, we have the Midnight Metals palette, the gel pencil liners, and then, the, oh my God, liquid silk. I have wanted to try this for so long, but it is always out of stock. Mm, cannot wait for this. Thank you guys so much. I love so many of their products. Oh, I'm so excited. We then have another package from Lottie London and I had a little sneak peek at this because I just, I couldn't wait. This is the Vampire Diaries Love Sucks collection. I love that it comes in like this big red coffin. So we've got a pH color changing blush, which I need to do a TikTok on. I have seen this online, I'm very excited. The pH color changing lipstick, red face pen, silver face and eye pen. We have the eyeshadow palette, a moon and stamp liner, and then Blood Drip Lip Tint. Oh, this red face pen as well has me very intrigued. I wanna have a quick look at the palette. Let's have a look. Oh, you can't see it, there we go. They are some nice colors. I love like Halloween themed sort of collections because they're always my kind of tones, my nice like gothy, cool tones, a little bit of red, grungy green, I love it. We have something from Ciate and Iris Apfel. Oh my God. <gasps> Wait, wait, okay. <laughs> I need to put these on while I'm showing you the collection. Would you say these suit me? Do I look pretty? So we have got a five piece eyeshadow palette, another five piece eyeshadow palette. Uh, we have a gloss lipstick, another gloss lipstick, and I'm guessing another gloss lipstick. We then have these really cute little like nail stickers. I can't get over these glasses, they're so funny. The little booklet, and then is this like a little makeup bag? Oh my God, there's more. Makeup bag, and I'm guessing this is like a mirror. I wanna see what this mirror looks like. Let me see, cute! Look at her there, so cute, like twins. Same. Okay, let's pop these off for a minute. I'll be wearing those in my spare time. The next thing is something that when I opened it, oh my God, I like squealed. So it said that it was from The Sims and they've sent me a few codes for their expansion packs, which I can't show you, but they sent me this freaking Sims llama and I, as soon as I saw it, I wanted to die just out of pure joy. It says, please enjoy these high school years expansion packs and first fits kit, along with the staple of the Sims, the llama. Look at his little suit and his little, wait, there we go, focus on him. Look at his little face and his little suit and, <gasps> I love him. I'm gonna put him in the back. Where can we see him? Let's like put him there. Don't worry, that candle's not real, so he's not gonna, Set a light. Okay, next is another box from Lottie London. This video may as well be sponsored by like Lottie London, Laura Mercy at this point. What's inside? This says class of 2000s. Oh my God. This is literally bringing me back to my traumatizing school days. We have the Y2K glossed extra juicy gloss. And then we have this little eyeshadow palette here. <gasps> it's like a little mobile flip phone. Oh, I bet some of you never even had flip phones. Okay, I'll need to open it properly, but look at the colors there. Stunning, love that. We then have, <gasps> yes, okay, so. HMB, as I'm sure you guys will know by Holly Boone, is now available at Boots, which is freaking major. And so uh, hopefully it's still gonna be like active by the time you guys see this video, but it says, if you buy two products, you'll receive a free mirror. Look at this cute little mirror here. And the three products they've sent over are three of their lip glosses. We have Woke, 1111 and Low Key. I've tried these glosses, they are stunning. And once again, I've already meshed it like privately, but uh, Holly, congrats on your Boots launch, that is madness. Okay, I'm gonna show you this briefly because I think I am gonna do like an actual like Instagram reel, might even do a short TikTok, whatever. This guy back here from Cult Beauty is the most epic advent calendar I have ever seen because Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm, I am gonna give you like a slight spoiler, okay? This is door number 25, and there are six products in number 25 alone. Like some of these doors have like multiple products in them. There's a bit of Drunk Elephant, there's some 111 skin, and again, spoiler alert, there's the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, which is my ride or die sleeping mask. It is the best thing ever. And we even have a little Joe Loves 
Christmas candle, which smells freaking great. But yeah, they've given me a discount code and I'm gonna include it on screen now and I'll do all the details down below and everything. But if you guys are looking for an advent calendar, that one is insane, honestly. Of course, it's not gonna be the cheapest thing in the world, but that in itself is just like the most insane Christmas gift. Okay, just a few more. Ugh. This is from Barry M. <laughs> okay, we have this huge box here. What's inside? Oh, wait, what is all this? Head in the stars, maybe some kind of like little poster. Cosmo season, we have an eyeshadow palette, some dazzling defined metallic crayons, a double dimension, double ended shadow and liner, and then some of their nail polishes. What is all of this? That makes a nice noise. Nail polish ASMR, anyone? Yeah, so I can see there's a bag of nail polishes there. We've got some little like tarot cards or something. Eyeshadow palette, there is like so much good stuff in here. And these metallic crayons. One of them is in the shade Galactic Teal, which you know I just need to put like all over my face. Thank you, Barry M. Can't wait to like figure out my future with tarot cards and chuck on a whole load of makeup. Okay, two more things, I think. Okay, this box here is from Loving Tan. Again, another one of my favorite tanning brands. Box looks like this. <gasps> oh my God. They sent me a pair like this years ago. Oh my God, vacuum packed bag as well. I'm gonna be saving that. Breathe my friends. Oh my God, guys. Freaking koala slippers. Freaking koala slippers with wibbly, oh my. God, when you put them on, they're just like these little fat koalas. How freaking cute is that? I should probably be like more excited about the actual products, but no, I'm excited about this. <gasps> Thank you so much. Okay, now let's move on to the actual products. Ready, ready? Da, 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 da. <gasps> what is that? Do you guys remember these? We used to get things like this to put on our pens at school. Oh my God, I am in love with this little thing. I love him. Oh my God. Loving Tan have landed in the UK. This, they've officially arrived in the UK. Oh my God, and they've given us a code. <gasps> Guys, I rarely spoke about Loving Tan because they were so difficult to get in the UK. But if you use the code Stephanie UK, you guys will receive a free deluxe applicator mitt with any purchase. Let me tell you, this is one of the most amazing tans ever. Like if you want something that's quite deep, that's like really just like rich in color, this is the shit. So I've got the gradual tan, which I've tried, I love. The luminous cream is really good for nights out or if you want to kind of like have an airbrush look to your skin. We then have the face tanner in dark. I've tried out the medium one. So intrigued about the dark one. Applicator mitts. Loving tan are gonna give me a heart attack because I'm honestly so excited by the slippers and little koala thing. And now I see chocolate. Oh my God, Tim Tams are incredible. They're like, kind of like penguin biscuits, but like 10 times better. We have a caramello koala. It's almost like a little Freddo thing. Eucalyptus sweets, Milo or Milo, more eucalyptus sweets. The actual tan itself, this stuff is the OG. And except in the dark one, they also do an ultra dark, which is like really, really good if you want more of like an olive tone. Ah, I'm really, really excited about all this. Oh my God. Honestly, the fact that Loving Tan is now available in the UK means you're probably gonna see me using it a lot more because now you guys can actually shop it. Okay, I think this is the last box. Think I might know what it is. So it's from Glossy Box, and as we all know, Glossy Boxes aren't normally this big. So I'm thinking it might be an advent calendar. I feel like it's around about now that all the brands start sending out their advent calendars and selling them. And Glossy Box's advent calendar is usually lit. And here it is. Okay, let's have a look. Um, let me just, I'm gonna mention just a few of the products. I don't wanna like fully spoil it. We've got Iconic London, like bronzer contour. We have got Refi. There's a freaking Refi brow pencil in here, which is one of my faves. <gasps> There's a milk mascara. There's a P. Louise lip base in here. <gasps> oh my God. There's a Gosh brow lift lamination gel. There's Glossier. And then there's a Magnetone product on Christmas day that I'm gonna keep a secret, but it's worth 40 pounds and 
it's not something that will ever run out. I won't get it out of the box, I don't wanna spoil it for you guys and then I'll start like opening everything up, but that is what it looks like there. And you can see it's bloody huge. I am a very lucky girl. I am a very, very, very lucky girl. So guys, I'm gonna leave it here for my chaotic PR haul unboxing. My office was tidy and now it's, there's barely anything, any like carpet visible. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know a lot of you just like to watch them out of like curiosity, finding out what new products are around. So like I said, let me know what you guys want me to review. Leave it in the comments down below what you wanna see videos on. Thank you so much to all the brands and PR companies and agencies that sent me anything. Uh, I always get gushy about this, but like I genuinely mean it when I say like, I feel so lucky and I get kind of like overwhelmed sometimes because I'm just like, I'm literally, just a small town girl living in a lonely world. But no, seriously, like I literally grew up and still live in a very, very like small village and town. And um, it's just madness. Like Paco Rabanne, what? Tatcha, Glossy Box, Cult Beauty. Like I have like full on imposter syndrome right now. So yeah, thank you so much to all the brands that sent me anything. And of course, thank you to you guys as well, because without you, I wouldn't be able to receive or do half of the things I get to do. It's literally like the best job ever. And I don't want you to think that I'm ever anything other than just ridiculously grateful and overwhelmed and sometimes just a little bit confused. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, leave all comments and everything down below and I'll get back to you guys as best as I can. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that guys, that is it from me. I love you. I am now gonna go and sort through all this recycling and I will see you in the next one. Bye.